Hi everyone, I'm John Hernandez, CEO of LVX Marketing and also a professional studio drummer. Played with lots of famous folks, old school guys like Journey, Yes, and Moody Blues, and folks from Tower of Power, and all kinds of folks. I've been playing drums for, I don't know, over 40 years now. I've been teaching drums, and I'm a fierce advocate for new kids coming up. That's you, hopefully. <laughs> and what I want to do is talk about why electronic drums. Okay, so here's my theory on this. First of all, I grew up when there were no electronic drums, and I started playing electronic drums very early on, only to find it was no better than playing on this floor. It was a horrible experience. And about, oh, about 20 years ago, things started changing in the world of electronic percussion. Until now, you have complete drum kits that are playable ergonomically, like your acoustic kit. And one thing I want to make very clear here is I don't advocate one or the other. It's Take a guitar player example. Most guitar players have acoustic guitars and electric guitars. It's just part of their, their toolkit, part of their arsenal, being a professional player or even an amateur player. So why electronic drums specifically for new students? Here's why. When I was, when I was learning drums back in the ancient old days, <laughs> um, I learned on my own and then I took drum lessons and my first drum teacher was a great teacher but he had me um, for those teachers that teach like this close your ears for a minute but he basically had me sitting in front of the kits doing doing uh, exercises and books which are by the way important and I started to get bored even though there wasn't a lot of competition for my time at the time so I figured out a way to play to a record player on a bunch of phone books all across the room so it wouldn't skip and then all of a sudden I was driven like a madman. I practiced hours a day. I had so much fun playing to the old bands back then, Deep Purple, Almond Brothers. Yeah, I'm aging myself, I know. That's why I have no hair. Um, but all that stuff. And so now though, for, for kids coming up and for parents, this is important, is that your phone rings in the middle of you trying to practice. <laughs> is that there's a lot of distractions now that I didn't have when I was growing up. You're now competing against PlayStation, against Xbox, against unlimited amounts of internet and YouTube and everything else that could distract someone's attention. So how do I make it fun for my students to play drums? Well, what I do is I encourage them to bring me their favorite music and we practice to that. Now, can you do that on an acoustic kit? Absolutely, but what happens? You're not hearing the drums because you've got headphones on trying to hear your music and your poor parents are in the next room or upstairs or wherever they are losing their minds because it's so loud. So then what do you do? Well, you go out and you buy these really cool foam things for your drum kits called sound offs. Nothing against sound offs except it's dead and really difficult to play and all the emotional fun and joy is pulled out of the experience because you're not hearing anything. Here's what's great about electronic percussion. I can take my music, any music that I want, bring it to my drum teacher and say, hey, I want to learn this song this week. And I plug it in, I mix the music with the sound of the drums in my headphones. Now I have fun. Now I'm having a full experience playing. This is really important because if you're going to sit there and say, okay, little Johnny, that was my nickname, uh, you're going to do 30 minutes on uh, Bossa Nova today and see why I have no hair? Because I was pulling it all out. Again, Nothing against that, it's a, it's a both-and scenario, but boy, was it a lot of fun when I was able to learn, and that's what really accelerated my playing. So electronic drums. Uh, you might hear, well, it doesn't translate to acoustic drums. Um, my answer to that is, uh-uh, not right. In fact, here's something that's true for me. I can sit on this kit and sit on an acoustic kit and play just fine. There might be a little bit of an adjustment initially, but no problem. However, if I'm on my acoustic kit and I go sit into a band with somebody else playing a different acoustic kit, in other words, their hi-hat's this high and toms are way over here, all of a sudden I'm dropping sticks, I can't play. It's much harder for me to play from one acoustic setup to another one than it is for me to change from an electronic kit that's set up this way and an acoustic kit. 
And then the argument comes in, well, you can't do all the, the grace rolls and buzz rolls and fine nuances. Well, so fine, get a practice pad. Or you can spend eight grand and get the top of the line other kit that's on the market if you want, but I say start easy. Start at $399, $299, get in, get started. You can always spend more money later. So this is why acoustic drums and electronic drums are important. Finally, if you're going to get hired in any kind of a context, uh, producers going to want you to have electronic drums. They're going to want you to have some programming chops. So it's a good way to start learning both. And then again, I, do, I just want to stress this because my poor mom, she had to be on Valium for most of her life because she was hearing full stainless steel drum kit at full volume every day as opposed to this. So this will save your parents' sanity. That's a good thing. Um, and you'll have more fun. Thanks again, folks. John Hernandez, LVX Marketing. Go visit Gelb.